morning everyone. So yesterday we saw how we can parse a digit and obviously that's not very helpful. I uploaded the, the code that we did yesterday to GitHub. I will post a link in the description so that you can follow along if you want. And the challenge of today will be to parse something more complicated. So what we want to do now, right now our grammar is E produces a number, right? And we want to change this to be E produces a number plus a number. So here right now, our expression produces immediately this piece of code moving. So we have uh, a move all right here, move dollar one to EAX in the example of one of the, the input being just one. But let's assume the input is 1 plus 2. Then we move the 1 to EAX. I'll put it here. EAX has the number 1. And once we see the, the plus, we know that we are performing an addition. So we cannot, when we see the 2, we cannot immediately put the 2 into EAX. So we cannot generate the same instruction, otherwise we would lose the 1. So as soon as we see the plus, we need to save what was before somewhere else, and we will use EBX, and copy whatever is here, save it here. So we would do, once we see the plus, we would move whatever is in AX and save it in EBX. So this would copy, this is called move, but it's actually a copy. Uh, so we would copy whatever is in AX to EBX to save it. And then once we see the number, we can do the same, move $2 to EAX. And then, because we are still doing the plus, we can add whatever is in EBX. So here, for example, after this instruction, this would be... I would like to know how to erase something. Yeah, I still need to learn how to work with this software, but I will just replace it here. I'll just use another color. This would be two after this instruction here. And then once we add EBX, I'll put a blue again, to EAX, then EAX will add both and will become three. Right? So this is what we want to achieve. Uh, so in our code, we will still do this, right? But then we need to match uh, the plus, right? So we'll create a function or a method called match plus. And then we perform the same thing we do this and then we add so system out print line uh, move uh, actually it would be the same as uh, this would be the add sorry add e -A -A -E -B -X to eax right so we need to define this match See, so if our look ahead is what we want, then we need to advance to the next character. So C, so look ahead equals system.in.read. And we need to throw again the exception, right? Otherwise, we need to send an error. So otherwise, else we throw a new parse exception uh, you can call it, could be, for example, uh, this plus RC, just to make it nicer to the user, C expected, something like this, right? So let's execute, see what happens. 1 plus 2, and we only get this plus expected. Why? We have a bug. 
because get number is actually not advancing to the next character, right? So we need to actually save the look ahead. We can do char result equals look ahead. And then we advance the look ahead not in dot read. I need to cast this to an integer to a character. Uh, and then I return the result, right? So one plus two. And we are missing one instruction. Ah, we forgot here. We need to do system out print line move e ax to ebx like we said to save it and now we can do it so one plus two we get we move one to eax we save eax into ebx we move two into eax and then we add both right so this is exactly what we want So one thing uh, that would be nice would be to actually test this code. But to test this code, we actually need to generate a valid, uh, a valid uh, assembly uh, file. So what we can do here before our expression is uh, System out print line and we do dot global and it's written without the a underscore start. Uh, I, I can actually show you what what happens if we just do it like this. Okay, so I have a virtual box here, and we would like to try just to see what happens if we try to execute this. Uh, I will just projects, uh, compiler, uh, let's build a compiler, and I want to edit here, let's call it expression.s, and I will copy paste this code from here into here. Paste. Right? Uh, and now we can use the GNU assembler to assemble this. So we can use, for example, expression.s minus o, expression.o. We create an object from here. So now we have this expression.o and we want to link this expression.o to just expression. And you see here that it says LD warning cannot find entry symbol start. This is because uh, our file is not a complete uh, assembly file, uh, a valid assembly file. So we can, we can edit this again, oops, expression.s, and we would do it like this, a label like this, start. But if we try again, and if we try again, if we try again, we see that it worked. And now we can execute the expression. And now we get a segmentation fault. Why? Because the program is not exiting. So we need to somehow call the operating system to exit our program. And this is done by calling an interrupt to the operating system, in this case, the Linux operating system. So what we want now, uh, you, can check, you can check online uh, the Linux system calls. We want to, to be able to call a system call, we need to move to the EAX register, the number of the system call that we want. In this case, we want to call sys 
exit exit uh, sorry there's a yeah sys exit which is the system call number one and then the status code of the result we put in ebx so we do it like this uh, so zero zero means that everything was was fine in ebx and then we call the interrupt 0x80 this is the in uh, x decimal by doing this our program will actually exit properly and we can confirm this if we go here uh, and we edit our piece of assembly uh, we go here and we do this so we move the number one to eax we move number zero to ebx and we call the interrupt 80 right so now if we assemble this again and we link it i need to do this in a script ld expression dot o minus o expression Ah, this is because we need here global start to define it and now we define our start we want this to be tabbed so we do it again, ld expression dot o minus o expression. And then we run the expression and now it executes. But you don't see anything, obviously. We are not printing anything to the screen. So we need to use the GNU debugger with our main. Uh, not main, sorry. Uh, with our expression. Right? Now we can info registers. Uh, dollar eax this is the syntax ah, so we need to break start first then run now it breaks so you see here uh, that there is this uh, this instruction is going to execute so we can step and now it goes to the next instruction and the abbreviation for info registers eax now you see that there is a number one there. We can also write e just like this. It's the same. So we step again. Uh, we move the two to EAX. So now it has two. But if we do the same to EBX, the one is there. And if we step again, step, step, so now it should be three because we already executed, we did this add. So if we, oh, sorry, now, yeah, we need to do it again. So run, breakpoint before the add. So now we add IR EAX has three. So our program is actually working properly. So this is a way to, to test. It's a, it's a bit annoying. Uh, I don't have so much experience with this, but this is a way that you can use to test this. So now we know that we are adding correctly. But now, since we can add, we can deal with this uh, plus, it would be nice to also deal with the minus. So how would we do this? So now we also want our expression. I need to create a new one. Uh, instead of having this, we also want to have e produces number minus number and there's another syntax for this i will write uh, and i will write this so we have this e equals e sorry number plus number we also want an expression to be able to be number minus number Right? The other syntax for this is to write E produces number plus number or 
number minus number right whatever is better for you uh, so if you see this uh, vertical bar it's an or so in this case we need to distinguish when we are doing 1 plus 2 we are we, this we already solved but if we do 1 minus 2 uh, in this case we would have to do the same but with the subtract instead of the add right we would do sub ebx from eax right So let's do this in our code. But now I would like to change the code a little bit. Because one thing that we did here, if you see here, expression.s, I actually tabbed, I added these spaces so that it uh, looks more uh, looks more readable instead of being adjusted to the left. And this is quite common to write it like this. And I don't want to write spaces here every time so i would have to write space here four spaces here four spaces here so it, this is a moment that we can actually extract this functionality into another method we can call it uh, emit line for example system out print line emit line replace all obviously not defined create method and now we do system out print line now we can put four spaces, one, two, three, four, plus our S, right? And then the code looks much cleaner. Uh, but now, we cannot just match the, the plus anymore. We need to check if there is a plus or if there is a minus. If our look ahead is the plus, oops, if it's the plus, so if our look ahead equals the plus, we do something. In this case, we do this, right? Otherwise, if the look ahead equals minus, then we would do this. Match the minus, and here we subtract, right? But now we see a bit of duplication here. And we would like to eliminate this duplication. So obviously, this can go outside. It's repeated here. And this is the same as this, and is the same as this. So these we can extract. We can actually create this as a non-terminal. We could change our grammar, for example, to something like this. We could say that our E is a term, a T plus T, right? Or T minus T, and this T is a number, right? And then we know, because we are using a recursive descent parser, that we just need to create a function for this T, right? So this would mean that we would do something like this. This would be term, which would be like this, right? And then here, we read the term, and here we read the term, right? Let's try it again. So 
So 1 plus 2 works as expected. Run it again. Two minus one runs as expected. And so now if we type, for example, two D three, this is not what we want because we need an else here. We need to throw a new parse exception plus or minus expected. For example right and now if we try it again and we say 1 d2 plus or minus expected right but if we run it again we have another problem because if we do 2 just 2 plus or minus expected so we don't accept just single digits anymore and this is something that we also have to fix so I know that we have an issue here, but uh, I will show it to you. So one thing that we can also do is emit line here and do global underscore start, emit line underscore start. And at the end, we can emit line uh, Actually, here this would not be emit line because we have a tab. We can also change this to specify the, the amount of uh, tabbing that we want. But I will give that as an exercise for you. But uh, on the next version, uh, I will have this implemented. And here, emit line move uh, one to EAX. Emit line move. 0 to EBX for the status code and emit line interrupt 0x80. And that, then we can immediately compile our generated code. So if you run it again, we will see 2 minus 1. We have our code. We will copy paste this code into our into our editor expression.s let's delete all of this and let's paste everything inside and we will compile this we'll assemble we will link it and we will gdb expression We will break start, we will run, and now we have a two step, step, so IR EAX, sorry, it's two, okay, fine. Now we subtract, and if you do it again, it's minus one, so actually. It is subtracting EAX from EBX. We actually need to negate this. So the code becomes even more inefficient. What we need here is emit line negate EAX. But uh, now you see that the code is clearly more complicated, uh, but hopefully not that complicated. And hopefully you enjoyed, you enjoyed the video. Uh, we will on the next lesson we will learn how to handle multiple so expressions like one plus two plus three uh, and then it will become much more interesting so thanks for watching and see you guys next time